Hi kids, welcome to Terry on Tuesday. As promised, my one day, not really, more like two weeks, uh, Batman prop build. And guess what I've built? The Adam West utility belt. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, yes, it is beautiful. It looks good. And I'm just the right size as Adam West, it's gotta be said. Let's put it on. This is a gift for someone, actually for my brother. And uh, I think I've done a semi-decent job on that. So, how did I make it? Apologies for the very long video coming up. Okay, so how are we going to make this uh, replica Batman utility belt? Well, uh, the first thing is to get some reference. So I got some reference pictures from a commercially available belt, which I can know where you afford, and plus building something is more fun, right? So, um, the first thing is the most difficult thing, is how do you make the metal plate at the front? It's got the bat, etc. on there. And as you'll see, I have one right here. So, here's said metal plate, very flat at the moment. Uh, as you'll notice, it's got the silver bat and the square, the rectangle around it. Um, it looks very golden, silver on that side. So what is this? Well, <clears throat> let's move this, here we go. Um, so I was thinking of different ways to do this. Um, originally I thought of getting a metal plate engraved, but it didn't work. Um, I don't have it with me, but apparently it didn't look too good. Then I thought get a gold plate and scrape off everything to leave the silver bat symbol. That didn't work either. So the scraping doesn't work very well. So think laterally and get a silver plate and print yellow on it. So instead of printing the bat and the rectangle, we just print the yellow bits, then round the edges off, etc., etc. So it looks like a gold plate with a silver bat on it. And I think that works really well. Um, that is the advantage of having a good friend who runs a trophy shop. Uh, so you can get these kind of things made. Now I have a number of them um, because A, I may mess one up, and B, I may make a second one, depending on how easy this first one goes. So my plan is, uh, when, when the time is right, to curve this, probably bend it around a paint can or something like that, just to give it a slight curve. And that's probably the hardest bit done. And I think it looks rather nice. Very weird shape of the bat, but that's exactly how it was in the 60s. So anyway, uh, next, the strap of the belt itself. Um, sun is right in my face. Let's put the camera back where it was. There we go. Um, so I have this faux vinyl or faux leather, what do you want to call it? Um, it's pretty long. Got it from eBay. Um, didn't cost an absolute fortune. Is that doubly thick? No, it's about it's about a millimeter thick, millimeter and a half. It's quite nice. I think once the to get the folds out of it, it should be okay. Now I do need quite a bit of this. I need enough to cover uh, the, the length of the strap all the way round. And let's just check it on me. I mean, you know. That's, that's pretty good. Plus I also need to cover the four boxes that are situated either side of the front plate. So I'm going to I think I'm going to cut the uh, the boxes first because I'll know how much I've got left. And then if I get the boxes done, that's the most labor intensive bit. Um, and then I can always order some more uh, vinyl if need be for the strap. But I may have enough. We shall see. So how am I going to make the boxes? Well, our good old friend. 10 mil EVA foam. Remember I've used this for the, the, the Andor build I made a long time ago and Marvin and all sorts of other things. I use it quite a lot. It's 10 mil thick. It's um, reasonably cheap. You buy it in huge sheets of eight foot by four foot off Amazon. And um, the, a little goes a long way. Um, so I thought I'll cut the boxes out of this. And I did that and 10 mil seems a bit thin. And also the boxes uh, according to the, the version you can buy, this big, 80 by 100. And um, they seem really small, but, you know, 
I'm going by the measurements. It's about right. It may look big on camera, but these seem small in real life. Anyway, I'm not gonna mess around with it, but I will say that 10 mil seems a bit thin. So I've got this plastazote, which is another kind of polystyrene foam, and I'm gonna cut out the shapes of this stuff and this stuff and glue them together so we've got about a 15 mil depth. And in the tradition of Blue Peter, here's some I made earlier. So all I've done, got the black sheet, got the white sheet, sandwiched them together with some yoo -hoo, yoo -hoo -hoo glue. Uh, they've been sandwiched overnight, so they're pretty, pretty on there. And then I need to wrap these in the yellow vinyl, which I have not done yet. Um, before we get to that, also the bat belt, as you'll notice, has cylinders. Now apparently the real cylinders themselves, well, let's tell you about how cheaply the belt was made. The blocks, or the, the pouches, on the, act, the real belt to begin with, were made of sponges, I kid you not, bath sponges that were yellow. Uh, because it was shot in the 60s and you couldn't see the holes and all the dots in the sponges. But later on, they, they upgraded it and covered them in vinyl or whatever. I'm told they were wooden blocks that were just wrapped in vinyl. So I'm going for the lightweight option. I'm not using bits of wood. Likewise, the cylinders were also made of sticks of wood. Um, just pieces of kind of, I would say broom handle, but maybe a little thin. I think they're 20 mil. Thankfully to eBay and searching around, I managed to find plastic test tubes that are exactly the right size. This rarely happens, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, they come in packs of six. Uh, I wish they'd come in eight. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need four for the belt. Um, so they're, they're, t they're 20 mil in diameter. They're 100 mil deep or tall, which is just perfect. And they still have the little opening cap somehow. I can't even open it now. There we go. Should I need to? Um, I think I need to get in there to put a little piece of wire uh, to join it to the, the strap of the belt. But I'll give these a little rub down with some sandpaper before I spray paint them. Where's my paint? It was here somewhere. Still downstairs. I just bought a can of yellow gloss spray paint. Um, these are some kind of PVC vinyl, not vinyl, but uh, polypropylene. Let's get another one. And they, they're not the best material to, co to get covered in paint, but for a display piece, it should be fine. I'm going to give these a, a light sanding with some sandpaper or a sanding block, just to give it a little bit more of a key uh, so that the yellow paint will stay on it a bit nicer. Um, so, Next thing, how do we wrap the blocks? The blocks need to be wrapped. So I've measured out, and you can see that, the shape of the block with little rectangles all the way around for the edge of the block. And then the triangular bits on the end there are gonna be wrapped around the back. So this is my template. I need to cut this out and then start transferring it to four of four times onto the yellow vinyl. Now it's just dawned on me, I'm filming this on the 19th of December, and uh, I think today is the last day of postage, so if I do need more vinyl, I may not, <laughs> I may not get it in time. Um... Will Terry make it, Matt fans? Stay tuned! next day here we are back of it 
not perfect. I had to pull off the sellotape. See all the horrible bits of sellotape there. Uh, it's not too bad though. It's all going to be covered anyway. That's going to be, you know, have a, a belt on it. But the front is nice and neat. Tops and bottoms are quite neat. So, only another three to go. All four of these are covered. I used some of the spares to make the little uh, fastening strips that will be kind of at the bottom of each one, something like that. Um, and I thought I've run out of vinyl. Got about, quickly measure it. All right, if you don't count these little sticky out, you cut out bits there. Okay, got, uh, we've got about 27 inches, but it's twice the width. It's twice the width that I need. It only needs to be about 77 centimeters. And now I'm going between inches and centimeters. So my plan is this. I have some spare offcuts of leather, which I was given a long time ago. The plan is to make this a little bit thicker by gluing it to the leather anyway, and then cutting out the strips I need. So it'll be two strips. Here's the plan. The plan is to get some newspaper and stuff down, um, apply spray adhesive to this leather, put this leather on there, put lots of books and stuff on there, get it nice and flat, much as I possibly can and leave that overnight and hope uh, that will be decently stuck so I can get the, uh, the the metal ruler and a really sharp new scalpel blade and cut the two straps I need and join them onto everything else. But first, clean the table. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, one uh, much tidier table with a load of paper sellotaped or masking tape to it. Um, I've got a largish plastic bag here, which is gonna go over the top once I've uh, put the glue on, and then I can put books on top of that. So protect the books, protect the belt, protect everything. Uh, decided to cut the leather and the vinyl down the middle. So it's still wider than it needs to be, but right now I can put that there. And as you can see, the leather's wider, so I can actually cut down to the, once it's glued nicely, I can cut that down to whatever it needs to be. And it should be still nicely flexible or flexible enough. Um, now I've got two of these, the other one is uh, there. Um, so now it's time to make a mess and make a smell. May need to open the window, get some air in here. first looks good so far Lock number three peel the plastic off see how stuck this is now it's okay it's okay how's this looking pretty good I mean there's some creases but you can't get them out without putting a ton on them, but still flexible. Looks pretty permanently stuck there. I'm not going to risk overdoing it, but I can live with that. Now we're going to do the second one. Then once they're both glued, I've cut them to the right size. Um, while we're waiting... Oh, this is stuck. <laughs> the board's stuck to the... Oh, never mind. Leave it there. It's fine. Okay. While I was doing that, I've sanded down. If you can see that, I've sanded down one of the pipes and cut one of the uh, the lips off. So you know, so you can still open it, but the lip is missing from here now. Uh, so I've sanded it just gently. Take the uh, transparency off so it will uh, glue hopefully, and made two holes there and there um, for 
connecting to the belt. And also I took one of the front plates downstairs, put a curve on it by bending it around a can of paint. And that is rather nice. Okay. Number two, number the second. How did we do this? We, we put that one there and we put that one like that. Now, slight problem. This is too long, this is too short. Ideally, I need to get as much length out of this as possible. Um, so I'm gonna find another piece of leather that should fit it. So this is clearly way too big. I'm gonna cut this down the middle to save this half of this leather, because there's no point in gluing, putting glue over all of it, if I'm only using half of it, right? So, let's give myself that. Yeah, brown leather, black leather, it's all good for costume and prop making and all kinds of stuff. So, we're ready for part the second. Uh, okay. Get everything out the way for the gluing. The gluing. This time it's personal. Well, oh, maybe that's stuck, isn't it? Okay, here we go. If you get it right, this is quite controllable. It's not as messy as I thought it would be. Right. Alrighty, a quick one before we lose the light in here. Uh, I've actually cut this down now and it looks really nice I've actually gone for 80 millimeters rather than 77 because it's a nice round number and it's slightly wider which gives 10 mils top and bottom for the pouches talking of the pouches you may notice some of these have tape on them um, I was just checking around the edges to see if these uh, sides need pulling in at all uh, this one is pretty good I might glue that one you can just see what I'm doing is using a, a a sculpting tool to drop a single drop of glue in there and just taping them for a few hours just to pull them in tight uh, other than that really nice okay so this evening i've been using the spray paint to paint the tubes how did i paint the tubes i put them onto a piece of wire and took them outside and sprayed them from all different angles i'm still not sure i've covered all of it i've definitely made a a, a point of covering the top and the bottom. I think they're pretty good. I've started taking them off the wire so I can put a marker in them, like so. Take these outdoors again, and where I can see, you can just see a transparent patch. So look, see that patch there? It's a little bit, little bit spotty. There you go. I'm gonna give them an extra touch up uh, individually, and then they'll be ready to go onto the belt. Quick paint drying hack. Suspended the tubes after another coat of paint over the old uh, warm radiator there to help them be less sticky when I need them to be dry. So, having cut the two strips rather nicely, they've turned out really well. Uh, I've neatened up both edges. Uh, not so much on this side. But I've made a discovery. I think my calculations were off. According to the measurements I was given, the actual length of the strap is 30, uh, 38 inches, I think. Uh, I think that was right. Um, which means each strap should be from here to here. Should be about, is that 17? I think that's right. Um, 15 is 30, 16 is 17, 18, 19. Even if it's 19. Yeah, I think it's 19 inches, isn't it? So it... Each one should be that long, so I could cut off that much off each edge, but I'm not going to do that just yet anyway. I think I need to attach the buckle, the bat buckle, um, before I worry about chopping bits off. Um, let's have a quick look at these now they've been left overnight. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see that in the light. It's 
So I've got the camera the wrong way around or the other way around, as it were. Should be able to see that. Uh, they're a lot neater now. They're actually glued in place, uh, held in. I've decided to do all four on, on every block. Um, one thing I did notice looking at reference pictures, um, some of the belts used in the 60s were actual squares, not rectangles. They were the same width here than they are high. But I'm going by uh, one of the original belts uh, and also the commercially available Mattel belt, which uses the rectangles. It's too late to change your mind now anyway. Um, maybe version 2 would have squares. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think these look really rather good. Um, so, how do we attach the buckle? I think the plan is, we turn this over, to have that on there and that on there. Uh, I think that looks awesome. Awesome, awesome. So what I'm going to do, after doing some research, like I said, some Googling, there's all kinds of glues you can use. Uh, a lot of people have said super glue is best to glue leather to metal. Uh, some people have said Gorilla Glue. Some people have said E6000. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go super glue first because it's less messy. And if that doesn't work, I'll replace it with E6000. So let's get the super glue. Okay, that will go nicely on there to there. What I think I'm going to do, I'll do one at a time because of the curve makes things a little tricky. I'm going to take that to there and just keep that in place and I can get some glue under there. So let's quickly mark that. Alrighty, let's try super glue. Am I running out of super glue? It's not a good time to be running out of super glue. Well, that's making some weird noises. Right, well, that's loads of super glue because this is quite porous, so I'm just hoping it holds on, Robin. Stop it. Okay, take that down. Um, I would like to clamp this. I really would. Just to put some pressure on it. La 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 la. Beauty moon. Uh, okay. Here's a fact for you. Here's a fun fact. The, um, the entrance to the back cave is in the Hollywood Mountains, near the Hollywood sign. And I've got a friend who's also a prop maker and cosplayer. Uh, and he goes running there on a regular basis. I forget the name of it at the moment. It's near Griffith Park Observatory. And uh, yeah, he does that. Right, um, I'm hoping that isn't going to dent the plate too much. I think it's okay. Harvey dent the plate. See what I did there? So I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, I'm not going to risk doing this side just yet. I'll give it a couple of hours and then we'll see if the super glue works. If the super glue doesn't work, we'll move to E6000, which needs 24 hours to go off. Cool. Back to the other thing. Okay, I thought I'd quickly film myself doing one of these because we're beginning to lose the light again at about four o'clock. So I put a, a drop of the old E6000. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. A drop of the old E6000 on the back of these not too much then i'm gonna sorry i'll keep doing this out of shot and then i'm gonna spread it about a little bit i think i need to drop more compared to the other two there we go i'm running out of glue so i've got to be careful scoop that off sorry i keep going out of shot because i forget um Okay, so just that. Then I get a bit of masking tape. If I put this further down, can you see? You can see. Okay, so a bit of tape. Did I say masking tape? Like a, 
like a northerner, masking tape. I usually say masking tape because I'm English, you'll see. Okay, that stuck on there. Just need to get the camera across here. See, I've put a ruler to basically line them all up where the top ends go. Go to there. Take the ruler away. And that's all I need to do. Leave that. So that's number three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so just got one more to do like that. And we're getting very close to the end, which is awesome. Because this has been an editing nightmare, I can tell you that. All righty. Um, as you can see, they're rather nice. I had many coats of paint to try and get get a nice smooth finish. I'll pop them all on there. So why am I always out of camera shot? Goodness me, I don't know. Um, yeah, so again, apologies for this being a really long video. Let's unwrap these and see how the uh, little straps are doing. Come on. Hey, we have one good one. Okay, three to go. Let's try and get one in, in shot for you. Okay, nice and gently. I mean, if it's not stuck on now, it'll never be stuck on. Pretty good, that's two. Number three was almost stuck to the table then. Come on. Here we go. Oop. No. Steady, steady. Oh, that's a really nice one. No glue in the uh, in the hole there. Although, could do with a little bit under there. It's a bit loose, but it's not terrible. Um, don't chase perfection, kids. <laughs> perfection is unachievable. It's unattainable. Unless, of course, you're going out with Kate Beckinsale, in which case you've achieved it. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. So, what do they look like? That would pop into there. Yeah, I mean, it's a little dark because the paint is never going to be super, super bright. But that's pretty good. I'm liking that. Okay, so... Uh, I think we're going to put a couple of a, a tiny blob of E6000 on all four and leave them overnight. And then I've got to decide whether to glue these to the belt. Where's the belt? There's the belt. Glue them to the belt that way. Or make some kind of strap so they can slide around. I may just glue them. Um, the tubes will be there and there same place but you know looking decent okay um last uh, last push uh i've cut a couple of inches off either end of the strap just so we got very nice neat edges i've decided to go velcro route or route <laughs> Without saying American, uh, and I got I got the long hook Velcro to go on the one side, and the the fuzzy Velcro on the other side. I'll glue those in place at some point. Um, all I'm waiting for now is the uh, poppers to to dry. I'll give them a few hours and come back later on in the day. Let's just check these, shall we? See how they work. They seem to be very good. Obviously, there's blocks to go on there. Slide that in there. Oh, it's tight. It's very tight. It's extremely tight. Try not to panic. This is why we have stretchy stuff. Here we go. Okay. Well, it is very tight, but that's better than slipping and sliding all over the place, right? 
Just get this down here. So there's a block about here. Then there's a tube. Another block. And another tube. Again. Ah, well, you know, better than gluing these on permanently. They uh, they work rather well, especially with a stretchy, the stretchy uh, cord, the rubbery stuff. So just need to get that on here somehow. Man, this is fiddly. Okay, just don't want to scratch the paint or anything on the tubes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Adam West would be proud. You know what I'm saying? And imagine these are the blocks. They're a little narrower, but yeah. Something like that. Looking good. All right. Back with more progress in a sec. Okay, so we're nearly there. Um, if you can see that under the bright light, there you go. They've glued on quite nicely. Everything's ready, just about. The belt, that's been big Velcro on that side. And on the underside of here is a bit to catch on, so it wraps around like, like that kind of thing. I think that's uh, pretty decent. So the last thing to do, slide on the tubes, glue on the boxes. So we need a box about there, another box about there. Um, I'm going to have to check my reference material. The tubes go halfway, something like that. Can you all see that? Yep. Yeah. Move this across just a little bit. Um, first one there. All I need to do is glue these boxes on um, carefully. And make, remember, glue that on, slide this on, glue, slide. Glue, slide, glue, slide. But I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with it. I'm surprised at how neat and tidy it is and no major mistakes because that's usually how I build things. Messy and mistakey, if that is such a word. So we'll glue these on. I think I'll leave 6,000 them under there. Uh, and um, we'll call that done. There you have it for me and the bat belt. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. And as this is Boxing Day, that you're probably watching this. If you're not, maybe you're not. Um, as it's the 26th of December, this kind of is the final official Terry on Tuesday regular video. I've done it. I've managed to do a video a week for the entire of 2023. Uh, on top of everything else I've had to do, moving house, um, costume stuff bills day job and of course um making a movie bloody students uh, i will be doing a live on youtube uh what i call the end of the year show on new year's eve most probably where i go over what i've managed to do in the year and what went right what went wrong and everything in between and uh yeah that's it uh, i know this is a really long video i do apologize for how long it was um, but I hope you found it interesting as a final build uh, in this run of Terry on Tuesday videos. Like I've been saying for the past 10 weeks, I will keep the channel up. I will keep the videos up. And if something interesting happens, and let's face it, I'm making a movie, so quite a few things will. It will happen on a Tuesday on YouTube. 
Uh, I won't post up without fail regularly every Tuesday. Uh, I need to focus on obviously the film, the day job and everything else that that entails. But I will be back on Tuesdays occasionally to show you some interesting stuff, hopefully. So with all that said, I hope you had a nice Christmas and you're looking forward to a good new year, uh, regardless of whether you believe in the Christ Christmas message or not. I personally don't, but I still celebrate Christmas because, you know, it's a nice time, basically. And it reminds people to try and be good to each other, try and be nice to each other. Uh, don't be a D-bag if you're a, a troll or a hater, because we know they're out there, right? And um, if you are my <laughs> fan club of uh, regular trolls and haters, all I can do is wish you some kind of peace in your life that you don't need to obsess over me. For someone you can't stand, you're doing a really good job of uh, showing me how much you love me. Anyway, uh, to all my friends who are out there who are very supportive and have helped me throughout the year, uh, and before and, and for many years since uh, Merry Christmas Happy New Year uh, wishing you all the best in your endeavours whatever they may be and I'll see you next year for movie stuff and occasional Tuesday videos take care now bye bye then <laughs>